So a couple of days ago, we talked a little bit about the new Chromecast with Google TV, or as it is labeled, Google TV Stream of 4K. Now, this is the long anticipated wait for upgraded Chromecast, but this one is coming in with a new form factor, more features, more additions, totally new look, and a new price line. Let's go ahead and jump into the details. All right, so like I said in the intro, we've been waiting for new Chromecast for three, four years now, maybe even more. The old Chromecast or the original Chromecast was a great device, still usable in today's day, even after four years of service. So first of all, the price on this is $99.99, and it is available for pre-order. And I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description where you can go ahead and check it out. As far as the looks, this is gonna come in two colors. This is gonna come in porcelain, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and it's gonna come in Hazel. This is a Google Store exclusive, and the price on both is gonna be $99. So here's a different look. They went away from the dongle look, and if you go to the back, you're gonna have a couple more ports. So right to left, you're gonna have HDMI port, you're gonna have Ethernet, and we'll check to see if that's gigabit Ethernet. We have USB-C, which more than likely is gonna be power, definitely, Curious to see if this will be available for us to do some OTG um, settings. And we have, this is not a reset button, this is a find my remote button. All right, so everything that we expect from Google TV, we're gonna have the app store, we're gonna have, we're gonna have 4K HDR, storage space, we're gonna have 32 gigs of storage. It's gonna allow you to install more apps and bring more content over. As far as some of the features, this is gonna have 22% faster processor, so hopefully they'll review some of the specs there. Uh, smart control, so you can do certain things on your device versus having to uh, go to a light and turn it down or having to ask Google to turn it down. And it's gonna have a nice new design. So it does have the loss, the remote feature, which I think is pretty cool. Open your favorite apps on the home panel or switch inputs by pressing a button on your TV remote. That's not all that new. <laughs> Epic sound all around. Group your streaming with your Nest speakers, or you can pair your Pixel Buds Pro with spatial audio. All right, all right. Talks about Ethernet a little bit more. Your hub. All right, so basic overview, let's jump into the technical details. All right, again, two colors here, the length, here's the dimension. So we're gonna have 6.4 inch long and three inches wide. Height is gonna be one inch and weight is gonna be 5.7 ounces. Resolution, 4K HDR, 60 frames per second. Video formats, Dolby Vision, HDR10, HDR10 Plus, and HLG. As far as the audio formats, Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Plus, and Dolby Atmos. Connectivity, so 802.11.ac, which we don't have X, and this is gonna be 2.4 and 5 gigahertz compatible, and it's gonna have Bluetooth 5.1. Memory, we're gonna have four gigs of RAM. Getting pretty interesting, so four gigs of RAM there. Storage is 32, as we, we saw on the previous page. And the ports, USB-C, HDMI 2.1, Ethernet, this is gonna be gigabit Ethernet. Thank you. Um, it is gonna have Android TV OS. Pretty interesting. Android TV OS, not Google TV OS. Huh, I wonder if this is a typo. Interesting. All right, so our home connectivity is gonna be a little bit faster. HDMI 2.1. Here's the contents of the box. So the remote itself, we are gonna have everything on the front. Remember the old Google Remote had the volume adjustment on the side. So this is gonna have back home, navigation up top, volume up and down, mute. Gonna have dedicated YouTube and Netflix button. Power and look like your favorites. And that's all we got. So I'm definitely gonna pre-order one. I'll probably pre-order the Hazel Look. Two um, hundred dollars is a little bit steep, but let's look at the specs. They didn't mention what the processor is which is the only thing that we're waiting on but if you look at just the specs uh four gigs versus three on the nvidia shield tv storage is going to be 32 gigs which isn't bad which hopefully that's expandable with a usb-c otg adapter and it is 
um, coming in two different colors. I actually like this device. Wish it had a couple more USB ports, but I'm glad that it had gigabit ethernet. Remote looks pretty cool. Find my remote feature. I am gonna pre-order, definitely do a review. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Is this something that you're gonna pick up or are you gonna pass? Where does this compare it against some of the, the popular streaming devices within the price range? So $100 is gonna be in a little bit tough spot because the new on 4K streaming pro is about $50. $50 while the Fire TV Cube usually is $115, $120 on sale, it might be $100. So definitely somewhere in no man's land. And I'm definitely curious to see where this fits. So I'll go ahead and pre-order it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you going to pick one up? If you are, I'll leave a link in the description. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.